Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video we're going to be doing a Strictly Come Dancing reaction and this time we're looking at week 8. If you are not familiar with the format yet, perhaps you missed some of the other ones. So at the end of this video I'm going to put a playlist with a link to all the other reaction videos so you can catch up on more Strictly Come Dancing. But for now we're going to start off with the second worst on the leaderboard and this week, surprisingly, that was Kim Marsh. I thought she's been doing a pretty good job, so I am surprised to see her a second bottom. However, I did hear from a friend that this week's Strictly was so good, and like everyone was really good. So I'm curious to see how well or how badly she actually did. Beautiful setup, absolutely beautiful. Her dress is stunning. Oh man, you don't really just want to get all of the dresses. This is beautiful. That was a really nice effortless lift. Beautiful theme, like scene setting as well. Oh, okay. She is a little bit stiff in her upper body. So there was like bits where she could have stretched a little bit more and bent the upper part of her back a little bit more and stretched out. And it just seemed like she was trying to, but she was stuck. Not sure if that's a flexibility issue or if there was just a mistake there. Let's just quickly look at that bit again. Yeah, it's just very stiff in the upper body. Oh, oh wow, that's that's an impressive there. That's not just your basic go around in a circle, is it? This is beautiful. I mean, oh. <laughs> I just about to say something. It just broke me wrong. Um, I was going to say this is very beautiful, and and although not perfect, it does feel comfortable and nice to watch. But then she made some mistakes there, right? So let's go back, let's unpack what's just happened. So they're doing their dance. There's issues here with the shoulder coming up. Again, issues with the frame being way too stiff. There's a section when, when they split, she goes with the hips first, which in ballroom you really don't want to do. You want to go with the leg back first. So she kind of bends and like loses her frame and her posture just before she gets into this bit, probably anticipating the lift that's coming next. And then she missteps. Watch that. Oh, doesn't quite catch his hand. Which, to be honest, when you're going into a lift and you misstep and you don't have a chance to reset and then go for it, can be problematic. So let's see how this ends up. Okay, she, they managed to get up there, so that's okay. Yeah, we're going round. Okay, so they saved it. It's all good. It's all good. Beautiful lift again. Nice arm there from her as well. If I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the It was beautiful. Does it deserve to be second bottom? I don't know. I don't know how good everyone else was. But that was, be it was beautiful. There was unfortunately some clear mistakes. Um, and not even just mistakes like stumbles, but like issues with posture, um, issues with transitions, misstepping on the lift. So yes, I, I get it. But it was still really enjoyable to watch. Let's see what the comments say. Jamie Davy says an eight. Oh my god, I love this. It actually made me emotional. The vast majority of the lifts were incredible, yes, but one of them went wrong with regards to Kim giving Graziana the lot the, the wrong leg. Yeah, so that, that that's what happened there. But I do agree with Shirley. She picked it up and carried on dancing beautifully. The fact that Motti scored Kim one lower than Tyler was absolutely ridiculous. Respect to Kim for sharing this number to the Strictly Fan 69 says score of eight. It was gorgeous. It was so tender and heartfelt. It was. Her frame was lovely and her footwork was okay as well. The first lift was spectacular, but it's just a shame that the second lift went wrong because it would have been just as spectacular. Overall, one of her best dancers so far. Adam Smitherin says they are fantastic. We really hope they get to the finals. 
And finally, Matthew Sargent says, apart from the small mistake, I still thought it was danced very well. Such a beautiful message and atmosphere. One of my favourite couples this year, and I really hope they make it through to Blackpool. Um, oh, just actually one more. Strictly's fifth judge. <laughs> that I was Strictly's fifth judge. Scores a nine. And they said, undermarked. That was just a stunning, incredible footwork. Connection, hold, swing, and sway. Amazing lifts. Kim has improved so much, and it's great to see her perform to this standard. I would have never expected this from week one. Absolutely immaculate. It's just unfortunate she gave the wrong heel for the lift. This was so nearly perfect. It was, it was, but I, I think there was a couple of other things there that could have been improved on. What score did they get in the end? So they got eight. Oh, to be fair, that's a pretty high score. Eight, seven, eight, eight. Looks like everyone got high scores this week, apart from Tony Adams, but fine. So eight, seven, eight, eight. Um, yeah, I'd probably give it, I'd give it a seven. I'd give it a seven. Compared to everyone else, I don't know, I might give it an eight, but I don't know. It looks like there's loads of tens given out this week. Wow, okay. Right, we're gonna move on now to the second best on the leaderboard, which is Hamza Yassin. Really looking forward to this, partially because it's Hamza and I enjoy it. His dancing brings me joy. And partially because I love the song. Oh, it gets me in the heart. Beautiful set. It's a remix of the song, interesting. So this kind of seems a little bit of perhaps Afrobeat style, perhaps a bit of like hip hoppy. Um, let's just go back because I got a bit distracted by the music, um, partially because the vocals were not that lovely sound I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, Jarita is giving the energy, right? Nice body rolls there. Nice. Oh! Oh! Okay! Wow! That lift. That lift was... Let's watch it again. It's a bit where she flings her in the air and just doing some basically side somersault things. Fine, impressive, cool, that. Oh my goodness. I like his face, you can see he's enjoying it. Good hip action, really good hip action, there you go. Okay, okay. Um, shame about the song. <laughs> so distracting. <laughs> but no, but seriously, that was so good. That was so much fun. And actually, look here. Can you see? This is today is Tuesday morning, and we are number nineteen on trending. That's trending in the UK for the whole of YouTube, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Uh, really, really, really good job. Um, it was fun, it was high energy. There was no like, I didn't look at it and was like, oh my God, there's mistakes here, mistakes there. I needed more of this, more of that. It was good hip action. Um, the only the only thing I would say is that their energy levels were a bit different, right? Joita was like throwing her whole body into it and there was so much more energy coming from her, whereas he was a bit more subdued. I don't think either one is wrong. I just wish that they were matched 
each other. Just that smidgen better. But in terms of movement and motions, 10 out of 10. It was good. Patience J Choreography says, so proud, guys. They learned that this in less than a week. Gosh, thank you for bringing this to life. You both are beautiful human beings. Thank you for having me, Strictly. You guys don't know what this means to the culture. So obviously that's the choreographer who created this choreography, which was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of choreography. And lots of lovely comments here, basically congratulating her choreography as well. Someone says, this is just pure joy. They both look like they're having the time of their life. I uh, love this so much. I couldn't stop smiling and dancing along. Claire Hardy says, the thing for me is that watching his dance is not about technicality. It's the fact that every single dance Hamza does, you can see the pure joy in his face when he's dancing. It's like the music takes over his body and he's just in this joyous, rhythmic state, letting the music take over. I absolutely love to watch him. Claire, I 100% agree with you on that. It is a joy to watch them. And the thing is, when I make these videos, I do go from a completely critical point and I try and switch my like happiness, like, um, or joyful uh, receptors off, right? So I can just look at it completely critically and give the positives and negatives. But I just, just cause I mean the feels, you know? Someone says, if they aren't in the final, it'll be unbelievable. Hamza always makes me smile. I'm sure he'll pick this as one of his dancers if he makes it to the final. So with that, we're gonna move on to the worst. Also, if that was the second best, how good was the best? That's what I wanna know. Okay, we're going on to the second worst. And I, yes, I am still reacting to Tony Adams. Um, considering the amount of 10s and 8s and 9s that were given today, I feel like he needs to go home now. I haven't seen who went home, but it's his time, <laughs> please. So it's a jive to the land of a thousand dancers. One, two, three. One, two, three. I like that entrance to be fair. I'll tell you what, he does always go for it, doesn't he? He does literally always go for it. The arm is so... Um, it's like this. It's not good. It's not good. We want either like a nice swing with the arm, or a position with the arm, or an up with the arm. Just, I don't have space in this, in this tiny square to show you. But, but not this. Like you're trying to bat something away. Yes. Bit heavy footed there. There was an attempt at a bounce though, definitely an attempt at a bounce. He's going for it, right? He's really going for it, and I appreciate that. But he's also almost throwing his body into the kicks. And there is no control whatsoever. You need to have some control. Engage your core. Like, relax those shoulders. Go for the kicks. Lean a little bit forward. There's loads of technical bits here that he's completely missing. And he's just throwing his leg forwards. Getting tired. Oh. Look, we're in week eight now. We're in week eight. I just... <sighs> he goes for it. He really does. He has a good time. He allows other people to have a good time. People enjoy his content. But from a technical perspective, it's week eight. Right. Oh, this is a long comment. So we might only do this one. Snufkin Hollow says, this dance has left me with mixed emotions. On one hand, I felt so much joy from watching Tony really enjoy this dance, give it his all and execute some of the choreography really well. On the other hand, there are some better dancers than Tony who despite their own challenges have improved more than he has and they may leave the competition whilst Tony stays in. Yes. Thank you, someone said it. This is what I've been trying to say is, yes, he's good. Yes, he has improved, but so have other people. <laughs> oh, I always need to read the whole comment before I start commenting, don't I? But to be honest, I won't get hot under the collar if Tony stays in. There are more important things to be vexed about than a TV show. True. Also true. I need to remember that. Also true. 
I've said this before, but I'm going to labour the point and say it again. For me, strictly is diminished by having an elimination every week. And I think it would be a lot better if every contestant got to do every dance with a chance to improve from their worst scoring dance and a show dance in the final. Interesting. That's an interesting concept. Uh, okay. That way, people would get a chance to improve and show what they can do without failing, falling by the wayside because of a poor performance or because they weren't as popular as someone else. Very true. Then, if it really must be a competition, the winner should be voted in the final show from all of the original contestants. I was going to ask why we can't just enjoy these amazing dances and the people learning them without it being a competition and a social media war. But of course, the answer is that simple enjoyment of simple pleasures doesn't make the BBC any money. True. It doesn't really make for that good TV either. Like if I try to see people dancing for the sake of people dancing, I would go to a show and see something live. Or I would go to a local like dance show or a school dance thing or watch something on YouTube, watch all those professional dancers on YouTube, you know? Um, but you want the competition. I think that gets people a bit riling, you know? That gets people like... People love a competition, me included. Anyway, keep going, Tony. It's a delight to see someone who's asked to do something so out of their comfort zone and learn to enjoy it. Yes. And appreciate the most important property of dance, joy. Yes, that was a good comment. That was an interesting comment. What do you guys think? If Strictly was remastered to be in this form, so that it is just you watch everybody dance all the weeks, every week, and then at the end there's a final competition for all of the people. Do you think that would make for a better show? Do you think that would make for a worse show? Do you think that would give people more of an opportunity to improve on their dancing? And do you think that the final results would be different? Let me know in the comments below. Whilst you're doing that, we're gonna move on to Fleur East. And she's doing a samba, love samba. I wasn't too keen on her dance last week, so it's a, uh, Pleasant surprise to see her at the top this week. So let's go, let's see how it is. Good song for a samba. Nice, really nice arms from her. Hey, okay. Look at those hips. Look at those hips. Oh, the hips. So good. Oh, yes. I love it. Good footwork. Okay. Good, right? Okay, solo number. Let's go. I'll tell you what, compared to last week, my biggest issue with her last week was that there was, it was wide, for starters, but also there wasn't very much control with the motion, like you could put energy in, you can go for it, you can do all of this stuff, but if it's, um, if you're throwing yourself in it, it doesn't look as good. Here, she's got that same energy, she's got that same fire, that same pizzazz, but it's also controlled within the motion, and this is looking so good. How can you improve that much in one week? Yes, yes. <laughs> Nice. Sharp. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, okay, yes. You don't see that move very often. That was good. That was pretty good. That was that was that was so good. I've got nothing to say. That was so good. The improvement, the improvement is insane, guys. And it's a similar kind of like style of dance, right? In terms of like high energy and like lots of movements and some sharpness and some softness. And wow, that was so good. Yes, 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 yes. 10 out of 10. And it says best summer in years. Fleur made it look effortless. Hope she gets to perform this again in the finals and she can get the 40 she deserves. She should have got 40. 
score 10 Strictly fans in a one. Wow, that is the dance I've wanted from Fleur since week one. Yes, everything went right here. For once, she didn't overdo it and gave it a touch of softness. Yes, I thought her promenade runs in particular were excellent. She needs to give more performance like this now and she'll be dead sir for the final. I think this trumps Hamza's salsa as the best dance of the series. I might have to agree. Rebel Hen says she killed it. I knew this was her dance. Been voting for her since week one. It was nice to see her friend AJ support her. Beautiful friendship and Vito is adorable. Bravo. The dance was hot, hot, hot. Not only did she dance it really well, the performance was everything. Oh, I really want to end this there, but I, I always do another dance, right? Oh, so good. Right, we're going to end this one. Oh, we'll probably end it. Depends on what time we have. But definitely going to watch Tyler West um, because it's a Pasadobe and I haven't reacted to any Pasadobes this season. And I love, love the Pasadobe. So we've got Unstoppable here and I'm ready. Okay, for starters, like one thing about Pastor Doble is I love the drama and I hate it when they don't make it dramatic. This looks like it's gonna be dramatic. Okay. Nice. Oh, the positioning, the body positioning is so nice. She's quite short for him, isn't she? Oh, nice. Really strong, really strong. Beautiful and sharp here. Every movement so far has been so uh, precise, and I love that. Like, all of his hand movements, there's no, like, stray hands. It's all, some, they're doing something with it. Love it. Nice. He could have experimented a little bit more with shaping there. He had an opportunity. There was, like, a slight bend, but with Paso Doble, you want all of these big shapes, these curvatures of the arms and the limbs and stuff like that. And perhaps that wasn't the moment for it, but I would have liked to see some experimenting with the choreography there to, to, to emphasize the Paso Doble shapes. Some of these lines are really pretty. That one, not so much. So, <laughs> This episode, this, this this video, every single time I say something, then prove me wrong. Um, I was gonna say really nice shapes and lines, but I didn't like this kind of walk that he was doing. Just kind of like how I, if I was imitating like a lad's lad, that's how I would walk. Um, no, no, we we should have done a bit more curve, more curve, more curvature, a bit more on the shaping. How does I feel about it? I kind of wanted a bit more. As in, I wanted, m something was missing. There was something missing from that. There was moments where I said the shaping could have been a little bit better. There was times where it, tiredness was showing on his face. I think I'd probably, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in between an eight and a nine because it was, it was good. Don't get me wrong. I said, I, I look at this with a really critical eye. It was good. Maybe an eight or a nine. What did they actually get? Six, eight, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. I think I'd probably give it an eight. Right, let's see. You can tell Tyler loved this dance. I've never seen him so committed to all the movements. He did such a good job and I feel like he did the Spanish lines. This is extremely underscored. If Tony doesn't go, it'll be a huge surprise. Everyone has done so well tonight. But a six from Craig, seriously, so unfair. I agree. I don't understand how that's a six, to be honest. I don't get it. Megan, well, I love this. Diane's choreography was amazing and Tyler did so good. The power and presence he had was incredible. Diane, stunning as always. And Strictly Fan 55 gave it a nine. I was in two minds on this dance as I was first watching it, but deciding I'd go for the positive take on it in the end. Love the choreography, very interesting choices, very strong and intense throughout. It was strong and intense throughout. Love the characterization and the use of instrumental music, me too. For me, this was an unconventional routine done well. I agree he was a little placed and wasn't dancing through at times, but the shaping didn't bother me. Footwork is excellent and the characters was perfect. Well done. 
And on that note, I'll put the next videos that you can watch here for Stricky Reactions. And I will see you in the next video. But before you go, pop down in the description below. I know that there's been loads of really good dancers this week. So pop down in the description below who was your favourite, especially if it wasn't one of the ones I've reacted to, because then I can react to it in the future. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'll see you over there.